down, girls. We will all be relieved to hear that the building works will be completed within a day or two. This means that the unsightly scaffolding that has surrounded much of the school will, at last, be removed. That's it. You fainted. Probably constipation. Have some medicine later, but first, rest. the scaffolding, so I'm running away. I'm sorry I was mad at you. Hope you make the first team soon. Your friend, Rusty. And where do you think she's heading, Sonny? I don't know. We didn't do anything wrong, sir, except... Yes? I stole some sandpaper from the woodwork room for her. I'm sorry, sir. What did my daughter want sandpaper for? She mended this table. She wanted to sand it before painting it. My daughter mended and painted this table. Yes, miss. She painted the walls and did the stenciling. She loved this place. She called it her cabin in the woods. Really? She taught me how to make fire so I wouldn't get the cane so often. I helped her a bit with her Latin. It was a sort of swap. She said her Latin mistress hated her and she had to catch up. That's not true. The girl was just insolent. She very unhappy. Quite frankly, Mrs. Dickinson, Virginia has shown herself to be uncontrollable and even deceitful. This dangerous escapade with the boy is the last straw. She's run away, Miss Bembridge. It's quite obvious she was unhappy. Surely you must have seen something was wrong. Never, Mrs. Dickinson. In all my years at Benwood House has a girl disgraced herself and the school in such a despicable manner. In my opinion, Miss Pembridge, you and your staff have behaved disgracefully and despicably. And if we find her safe, the sooner Virginia leaves Benwood House, the better. The sooner the better, indeed. office. Thank you, Charles. Hello. Roger. Margaret, where the dickens are you? And uh, listen, is Virginia there? Of course not. She's at school. No, she's not. She's run away. What? Virginia's run away from school. Typical. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Uh, quiet, Mother, please. Well, what do we do? Um, do the police know? We've got to find her, Roger. We've got to find... All right, Margaret, now calm down. Now, I suggest you, uh, you come back and wait for news here. But she's probably on her way home now. I doubt it. There's nothing much for her there, is there? Not for me. Margaret. Let's face it, Roger. None of us are happy the way things are. Virginia's desperately unhappy, and it's all our fault. Our fault. And I'm not going to let you or your mother stop me.
then we fall the three green bottles hanging on the wall. Three. Mother. <laughs> Don't. Action stations. <laughs> I love you, Mother. <laughs> mother? Yes? You know me and Lance? We never did anything mushy. We weren't going steady or anything. Honest. I know. I had no friends at school, see. Miss Collins was okay. But I was real lonely. I just wanted a buddy. That's all. I know. Mother? Huh? I'm awfully sorry about what I said about Mitch. I guess... Were you lonely, too? Dreadfully. And I'll tell you something, Virginia. Mitch and I weren't mushy, either. He cheered me up. around to writing you in ages but so much has been happening we moved back to Devon, mother charlie and me and we've been incredibly busy getting the house into shape father isn't with us it's sad but the war separates people and makes them change somehow into different people i feel sorry for father missing out on his family but at least he comes visiting, and he seems more relaxed, so who knows. I'm starting at a new school, the one my friends the Hatherleys go to. My love to you all. Right soon, Rusty. Virginia's off to school. See if I can find you a second-hand bicycle. You could be independent, then. That'd be swell. I like your English bicycles. Sorry. I mean, I like our English bikes. That's all right. I think you'd always be half American. And that's fine by me, Rusty. <laughs> 